Good evening, and welcome to the 2023 National Honor Society induction ceremony. We would like to thank you all for being with us this evening to congratulate and celebrate the induction of our new National Honor Society members. We will begin with a brief slideshow about our graduating members.
Thank you, Ian and Jaden. The National Honor Society was founded in 1921 to recognize outstanding high school students and encourage them to enthusiastically develop and display scholarship, leadership, and character, as well as render service to those around them. Tonight, we will formally recognize the students who will be inducted as new members of the Salina High School chapter of the National Honor Society. We hope this will remind all current and former members who may be among our guests the standards of excellence that you are entrusted with maintaining as members of this prestigious student recognition program. We will now review the four qualities that serve as standards of the National Honor Society. The first quality is scholarship. Those with this quality strive to excel and display their abilities in the classroom. Although they may not always succeed, they are expected to work hard and always try their best. Scholarship is not only important in education, but in the workforce and everyday life. To display scholarship is to promote a successful future, always learning from your experiences. The knowledge you gain now will help prepare you for life outside of Salina High School. The second quality is leadership. A leader is someone who is not afraid to take charge and lead by example. While there are many ways to be a leader, each leader goes above and beyond their requirements, earning the respect of their peers. National Honor Society members are expected to show qualities of leadership in the classroom, on the court or field, in the work environment, and in the community. It is your duty to act on your potential as a leader. The third quality is character. The behavior that one displays when no one is watching reveals the true reflection of his or her character. As a member of the National Honor Society, you are expected to display honesty, trust, care, respect, and responsibility when acting as a volunteer, employee, or student. You are to put forth your best effort to reflect these traits. The fourth quality is service. As a member, you're expected to go above and beyond to help others. Service is more than the action of doing work for others. It is a state of mind. It is the mindset that one will try their best to improve the conditions around them and the people around them. You must display compassion and drive in your service as a member of the National Honor Society. Tonight, we would like to welcome Judge Matthew Gilmore as our guest speaker. He has served as a judge for the Mercer County Court of Common Pleas Probate and Juvenile Division since November of 2020. His hard work ethic and spirit for justice inspires us all, so please join me in welcoming Mercer County's Judge Gilmore. nineteen eighty seven grad of Salina High School and also on National Honor Society. So <laughs> good evening. Um, it is truly an honor and a privilege to be able to be here tonight to celebrate the new members, the outgoing members, just the the phenomenal work that these young kids do. Um, I'm used to speaking to youth, but it's typically in the courtroom. <laughs> you guys are free to leave, they're not. <laughs> so we'll, we'll base how this goes on how many of you toddle out the doors. <clears throat> I 
did want to just quickly hit two topics tonight, and they're not really connected, but I went back and forth and couldn't really decide which one was more important. So a little bit of audience participation from the students early on here. Um, don't blurt out answers, but what makes you special? Just think about that in your mind for a couple of seconds. What makes you special? And why are you here? Think about that one. Now, raise your hand if you have to work hard to get those good grades. Come on, now not all of you have to work that hard. <laughs> I see a couple of honest ones. All right, so now raise your hand if good grades come pretty naturally or easy to you. There we go, that's, that's what I was looking for. Because this part is basically a cautionary table tale. That first group, you're working hard, you guys are already set up for success. So congratulations. Not saying it's going to get easier, not saying you won't have to continue to work hard, but it's the second group because I was in that second group and I thought I had it all figured out and I didn't by any means. Um, I was kind of cocky running around the halls here. I played sports, I got good grades and I had awesome hair. So if you want to go back and look at the yearbook, it was the full frolic. It, it was beautiful. <laughs> but I, 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 was, I was a big fish in this little pond, or at least that's what my ego said. I was a big fish in a little pond. Then I went off to Ohio State, main campus. We didn't have the Lima branch at, those, at that time. And I was a minnow in the ocean down there. I thought it would work exactly like it did here. You know, just coast, get it done, whatever. Um, I was in for an awakening, a, a pretty rude awakening. Um, now, I had fun, I had a lot of fun. Um, and I wouldn't trade any of those experiences for anything because it helped me become who I am. And I think the, the suffering and the fun and, and everything that went into it was all good in the end. But who knew you had to actually go to class and buy the books because there was a semester I tried that and it didn't work out. Um, so my problem was I knew what I wanted to do. In seventh grade, I think we did a little survey you filled out. Where do you see yourself in 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, whatever it was. And I put down lawyer, judge. I, I knew what I wanted to do. So college for me became kind of almost irrelevant. I, I was just spending time waiting for law school to start. Well, you have to get into law school. <laughs> and that's something I didn't figure out for um, the first two years and then had to hustle hard. I, I finally did figure it out, um, you know, what made me figure it out to this day, I don't know. Um, but something in me changed, maturity, I'm sure helped a lot. Um, you know, I had some luck and I had the grace of God and just, it clicked. And when it clicked, I figured out how to be a, student instead of just a
good grade getter. <laughs> there is a big difference between those two things. So the takeaway from that is, is really, again, second group or first group, you guys are good. I, you know, keep, <laughs> keep doing what you're doing, you'll be fine. But don't take things for granted and don't make sure you know what it is that you're getting into. Because if you don't, life can come at you really fast. Now, again, it all worked out. And I, and I wouldn't trade any of that path for anything because I made it here. So just remember that. Now, there's no great segue into this second topic. Um, I tried. It just didn't happen. I was an English major, horribly disappointed in myself, I know. <laughs> but my generation, Gen X, we were the very first latchkey kids, okay? So for all of you youngsters who don't know what a latchkey kid is, it was a big thing back then. We were the first kids who dealt with both parents working. So mom and dad weren't home when we got home from school. That's why it was called a latch key, because you hit a key somewhere and you went in and, you know, you were left to your own devices for hours sometimes. Eh, it was a little dangerous for some people. Maybe me. Uh, but it did force us as, as kids, of Gen X, or as Gen X kids, to become pretty self-sufficient. You know, we, we did our own laundry. We, you know, did our homework when we got home. We took care of whatever list mom left you to make sure you got done before she got home. But apparently, as parents, my generation kind of overcorrected a little bit because what I see is helicopter parenting and, you know, my generation of parents were the ones who started the participation trophies. I love things like this, where you've got to work to get in. Nobody just gets a free pass and says, eh, close enough, close enough, good enough. No, that's not the way the wor real world actually works. It's tough out there. So with the helicopter parenting and the uh, smothering of our kids, you know, we created a generation which lives on instant gratification, activism, extremism, loss of self-reliance, loss of civility. That's a big one, the loss of civility. We spoiled our kids and they felt entitled. We can't undo that. But my charge to all of you is to be the generation that brings things back into balance. We really need it. We, you know, bring back civility, bring back faith, bring back a good day's work for a good day's wage, bring back not being ashamed to get dirty at work. And, and please don't look down on your peers who do decide to go into the trades because we need them too. Doesn't make them any less smart. Doesn't make them any less good. But, you know, the trades get a bad rap because you guys all have visions, I'm sure, of going off to college, getting that degree, and right out of the gate, somebody's gonna pull up a 
Brinks money truck and park it in your driveway and just start chucking money out the back. Probably not for most of you. So please learn how to debate and disagree without hating the other person or having hostility towards the other person. Be the generation to restore sanity in what is unfortunately an increasingly insane world. You've all done what you've needed to do to get here. You've checked off the boxes. So be authentic, be faithful, and never forget what got you here. Be special, but be special for yourself. And, all right, I was gonna open with a bad dad joke, so I'll close with a bad dad joke. Because everybody loves bad dad jokes. Why was the math book sad? It had too many problems. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Judge Gilmore, for taking your time to share with us this evening. We would now like to recognize our members, starting with the second year members of the Salina High School chapter of the National Honor Society. Please come forward as your name is called and please remain standing at the front until all of the second year members are up here. <coughs> That's good. That's good. All right, here we go. Matthew Albers. Will Bem. Peyton Berkey. <laughs> Zoe Cox. Lena Duncan. Michelle Elston. Madison Evans. McKenna Evans. Carly Follenkamp, Sarah Giesegi, Isaiah Glass, <laughs> Paige Hart, Carly Hathaway, Taylor Klingshern, Connor Krogman, Kimberly Kuntz, Amelia Lutz, Haven Montag, Lauren Mullenkamp, Lucy Piper, Haley Schaefer, and Kale Sudoff. Congratulations to our second year members.
Now we will recognize our first, our first year members. Please come forward as your name is read and remain standing at the front until all certificates have been received. First years, remember there's a bunch of you, so two rows. Make sure you go to the front. Carter Altstetter. Tatum Andrew. Aliyah Avers. Maxwell Baumstark. Kira Dirksen. Grant Duncan. Adam Faber, who could not be with us tonight. Colin Fokine. Skylar Fokine. Grace Gramza. Emma Harder. Gabriella Heindel. Ellie Hitchcock. Kaylee Ann Howell, who could not be here tonight. Savannah Jacobs. Zach King. <coughs> Ava Kanapke. Jake Kanapke. Ethan Kohler. Shibli Crick. Austin Lorridge. Michaela Minnick. Nicholas Newell. Caitlin Newding. Michaela Rosario. Brady Sapp. Haley Sprague. Alyssa Stockler. Sarah Tester. Julia Vihorn. Paige Veit. Mary Yasawa. Congratulations to our first year members.
Finally, we will recognize the newly selected members of NHS. Again, please come forward as your name is read to receive your certificate and remain at the front until all of the certificates have been received. Zach Kolobong. Lucinda Dietrich. Caitlin Dodds. Thaddeus Drexler. Brooke Faber. Jacqueline Felver. Rachel Fortman. Haley Garrity. Allie Gray. Zach Graber. Cole Hall. Lillian Heckler. Reese Hiley. Trey Hiley. Kenley Holstead. Dakota McAfee, who could not be here tonight. Christoph Melendrez. Elise Muther. Ethan Olwine. Congratulations to our new inductees. time we ask that all members turn to the page or to the pledge on the back of the program and hold out their candles. The officers will light the candles of the two-year members in the front row. Each row will then turn and light those of the row behind them.
Does everyone have your candle lit? You guys good? They all lit back there. Still lighting. We good? We ask that all members recite the pledge as printed in tonight's program. So please repeat after me. I pledge to uphold the high purpose of the National Honor Society. To which I have been selected. Striving in every way. By work and deed. To make its ideals of my school and life. Thank you. You may blow out your candles and be seated. Okay. I would now like to thank our members for their efforts on behalf of the NHS and especially those that went above and beyond this year. As I mentioned the very ac various activities we have done over the course of the past year, please stand to be recognized. Everyone please hold your applause until we have made it through our list. If you helped with stadium cleanup or helped fold letters and stuff envelopes for the giving thanks dinner, please stand at this time. Thank you, you may be seated. If you helped make and deliver Student of the Month rewards or did any tutoring this year, please stand. Thank you, you may be seated. If you helped sell poinsettias or chocolate bars to raise money for our NHS chapter, please stand. You may be seated. I'm going to ask some of you to stand again because I would like to acknowledge our top salespeople for those two events. The top two sellers for poinsettias were Sarah Giesegi and Amelia Lutz, and for candy bars, they were Haven Montag and Kimberly Kuntz. Each year, I try to give a little recognition to a someone who has gained my attention for extraordinary effort. This year, there's more than one, okay? So, if you are now an Eagle Scout, please stand. As I understand it, this means Connor, Colin, and Skyler had to earn 21 merit badges, fulfill leadership roles and display outdoor skills, demonstrate by example the Scout Oath and Law, and complete a comprehensive service project in the community. According to Google, only about 6% of all Scouts achieve the rank of Eagle Scout. So I am extraordinarily pleased to have three in our National Honor Society chapter. I think you guys are great examples of the National Honor Society, Salina High School, and the Scouts. So congratulations and thank you. Finally, I would like to thank my officers for this year. A special thank you to Sarah and Isaiah, who took care of the Student of the Month nominee awards each month. This means they helped make and deliver about 250 candy bags to those who were nominated but did not win that month. I would also like to thank Carly for taking care of logging all the service hours for our group and for putting together our script. And Michelle and Lauren, thank you for making the senior slideshow and the programs tonight. And Michelle, thank you for all your work counting our money. Without officers who are willing to pitch in and take care of many tasks, this organization and induction ceremony would not be the success that it is. 
This ceremony is truly a reflection of their hard work and dedication, and I'm thankful to have worked with them this year. Thank you, guys. At this time, I would like Sarah Giesegi to step forward. This year, our members completed almost 1,900 hours of service to NHS, the school, and our community. Many of you have helped with these activities or witnessed our members donate their time to many causes. This year, Sarah has gone above and beyond the required service hours during her time as a member of NHS. She has donated her time as an office worker, helped Mrs. Ball organize the Build a Bulldog event, and was a volunteer teacher assistant and worked at both youth volleyball and softball camps. Sarah has demonstrated her willingness to make our school and community a better place, so I proudly award her our service scholarship for this year. The installation of a new group of officers is an important and serious occasion. New members, you have indicated your faith and trust in your elected officers for the coming year. Their service and accomplishments depend largely, largely on your cooperation. Following is as important as leading. In any organization, there comes a time when some lead for a while while others follow. At this time, we would like to announce the officers for the 2023-2024 school year. Retiring officers, please step forward as your name is called and light a candle, which you will then present to your replacement. This candle is symbolic of the flaming torch of freedom and knowledge. Let this remind us to bear forward in search of the light of truth so we can lead others to follow that light. We thank you for working with patient care and making dark ways bright. We will start with public relations. So Isaiah Glass, <laughs> it's you. <laughs> Isaiah will be succeeded by Aaliyah Avers. Relight it for her. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Next will be treasurer. Michelle Elston will be succeeded by Paige Veit. Secretary. Lauren Mullenkamp will be succeeded by Caitlin Newding. <laughs> Vice President. Sarah Giesegi will be succeeded by Grace Gramza. <laughs> Ann
and President. Carly Fullenkamp will be succeeded by Carter Altstetter. Okay, new officers, in accepting these offices, you have indicated your willingness to give your time and effort to carry out principles of the National Honor Society. Yours is a great responsibility as well as a privilege. Our world today needs faithful and efficient leaders, and your school is looking to you to lead its students. With this understanding, do you pledge your best efforts to these offices you are being appointed to? If so, please answer, we do. Good answer. Okay. You guys can blow out your candles. This concludes the ceremony for this evening. Congratulations to all members as well as our new officers. Thank you, family, friends, and staff for your support throughout the year and for attending tonight.